absolutely amazing all the support we're getting love you guys all we will uh heading on the road guys i'm gonna let a few people jump in here and then uh, we can start this up it's a big uh truck trudeau got a bunch of people uh, sending me a bunch of things this is the new merch that uh one of my buddies started so it's pretty cool to uh, get all the packages over the last little bit Big truck, yeah. Let some people jump in here and then uh, let you guys know what's going on. Truck Trudeau, baby. Truck Trudeau. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? How is everyone doing tonight? Amazing all the support that I'm getting on the channel. I love you guys all. Thanks for tuning in on the live streams. You guys are amazing. Friday night chat here with the people. If you guys have any questions, throw them down. Try and answer as many. But uh, yeah, guys, we are... Uh, we're having a good get together tomorrow. We are heading to um, a buddy's farm, one of the uh, truckers. He's having all of us over and it's gonna be a good time, guys. It's gonna be an amazing time. So uh, stay tuned on the channel. I wanted to jump on here to say that we're going on a road trip tomorrow. Big event plan to uh, have a trucker reunion. It's gonna be amazing to see all the uh, familiar faces that I saw in Ottawa. So uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, have a big reunion tomorrow, guys. Heading there tomorrow morning. Got the new merch somebody uh, sent me. Shaker TV. Thank you so much. I don't know if you're on here right now, but a uh, bunch of people have been sending me stuff over the last uh, few weeks. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. Got the truck judo, the Freedom Convoy 2022, unbelievable. How do you guys like these? Pretty sweet, eh? I got a bunch of, uh, I got it in white, I got it in a couple colors, unbelievable. So yeah, guys, we're uh, it's gonna be pretty cool to uh, reconnect with everyone tomorrow. We're uh, having a trucker reunion. Um, it's gonna be unbelievable, guys. We're heading there tomorrow morning. I'm super stoked to see everyone. It's gonna be a good time. If you guys have any questions, just. Uh, Throw them at me. We'll get a little chat going here, guys. And I also like to know where everyone's from. So start throwing your flags or let me know what country you're from. I know there's support from all around the world. And I love you guys all. It's amazing. Are the truckers near auto doing anything? Um, I'm not too sure. That I, I, I don't know too much about what's going on right now with the truckers in Ottawa. I know that there's a convoy that left this morning or last night to um, BC. So that's all I know about that, really. Melinda Smale from North Car uh, California. Unbelievable. All the support from the States. Taiwan. Wow. I think that might be the first person from Taiwan that we've had in the chat, guys. That's unbelievable. First person from Taiwan. That's incredible. But, yeah, there's so much support from all over the world, guys. So, yeah, like I was saying, let me know where you guys are from. I always love to know uh, if you guys want to throw your flags. Colorado. Absolutely. I love Colorado. Hello from UK. So, we got... Uh, 
got some people from across the pond dreamer thank you so much for all the support you guys are amazing uh the channel donut dan my man good evening connor well good evening donut dan brother you're he's uh one of the moderators in here guys he's a beauty donut dan is a legend and donut dan is from maine guys he's also from the states and uh, maine is very close to canada So let me know where you guys are from. I always love to know where you guys are from. It's amazing. Love from North Carolina. Cindy's from North Carolina. Thank you for the support, Cindy. You're amazing. Got the Chuck Trudeau sweater. Someone sent me. Unbelievable. But yeah, tomorrow we're having a big uh, event for all the truckers, guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to uh, be filming a bunch. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go live there or not. We'll see. There's going to be a lot of live streamers there. So, But I'm going to capture a lot of content. So we're leaving there tomorrow morning. We get to take our masks off March 12th in Washington State. Um, yeah, well, I personally have stopped wearing the mask myself for a long time. But a few, um, the March 21st, I believe, in Ontario here is when the masks uh, are officially not uh, needed to be worn. Absolutely, Taiwan, that's excellent. Freedom circling the globe. Donut Dan, for sure. This is a community that we're building. I know there's a lot of people from all over the world. I love you guys all, it's amazing. So uh, thank you guys all for the support. I'm from Canada, if you guys don't know, my name's Connor. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, there's a bunch of great people that uh, always circulate through the chat, so it's amazing. Love from West Virginia, no mass here. Yeah, that's great to hear, Virginia. That's great to hear. But like I was saying, guys, we are having a big trucker reunion tomorrow, so stay tuned on the channel. I'm going to be capturing a lot of content. Uh, there'll be a few vlogs out for sure after the weekend. So I'm going to be heading there tomorrow morning, and it's going to be a great time to see everyone, all the familiar faces that were in Ottawa at the Freedom Convoy. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. So if you guys have any questions at all, what's going on, I have some answers. I don't have them all, but we uh, there's some people in the chat that are very smart with law and uh, also what's keeping up with the day-to-day. Uh, -day. So we can have a little chat here, and I don't know how long I'm going to stay on for, but because uh, i got to obviously take off early in the morning, but I wanted to jump on and uh, have a little chat with you guys. You guys are amazing. I love you guys all. Like I said, always let me know where you guys are from. I always love that. With everything else going on, this makes me so happy. Well, absolutely, guys. It's always nice to uh, just get on here, communicate with other people. And uh, it's a good spot just to, you know, decompress after a day. Wow. Hong Kong, guys. Love from Hong Kong. Thank you so much, Warren Lee. That's amazing. Shanky, hold the line. Absolutely. We are holding the line, brother. We aren't going anywhere. We're going to hold the line until all the mandates and all the restrictions are lifted. Is there any way that Trudeau can be replaced at this time? Asking from America, Phyllis. Um, yes. So there is a vote of no confidence possibility in Canada. You need 35 PMs to initiate it. And uh, so basically what we need is 35 PMs to rise against, or the governor general is right now taking emails. I guess if you get over 900,000 or a million something emails, that will also initiate some sort of uh, vote of no confidence. But in Canada, yes, we have a vote of no confidence, but it's the PMs that need to start it. It's a big truck, yeah, to keep your shield. We aren't going anywhere, guys. We, uh, Like I said, we're having a big uh, event tomorrow. It's going to be great to see all the familiar faces that were at the initial Freedom Convoy in Ottawa. It's going to be a big reunion to see everyone. It's going to be amazing. Frank DeVries, you just popped up new here. Awesome, man. Well, we uh, we love to have everyone, all the new is a freedom community. Uh, we talk about all the day's events. If you guys have any questions, um, we can talk about it through the chat. And uh, yeah, guys, so this is just a bunch of people wanting their freedom.
Got the Chuck Trudeau on. Do people in Canada treat the truckers with respect now? Well, I personally always treated truckers with respect, but um, I, and to tell you the honest truth, I personally will look at them in a different aspect my entire life now. Uh, it's incredible. Like, uh, over the last uh, last month, I can even tell you that I'm a changed man for the better because of the truckers. Hey, Connor, what's happening with Pat King these days? I'm not too sure, guys. I'm not too sure about any of the organizers. I know, obviously, Tamara was released, but I think Pat King is still uh, in custody. Uh, I don't know any more than that. But I'm pretty sure that Pat King is still in custody. You guys are amazing though. We got 70 people and 78 people in the chat tonight. That's amazing. Almost uh, rounding up 80 people just hanging out, talking about uh, what's going on. It's amazing, guys. I appreciate every one of you guys. So uh, all, everyone that's jumping in here, if you guys want to tell me where you are or where you're from, we have people from Hong Kong, Taiwan, uh, it's amazing all the different people that are coming in from all around the world. It's amazing, guys. We're building a community here. It's a big truck, yeah. To all you guys. As you can see, I got my truck Trudeau Freedom Convoy 2022 on. Love you guys all. We're going to get this done. Hold the line. Stay strong, guys. Stay positive. Stay united. Don't uh, create division. Create unity. Love one, uh, one, love one each other. And uh, yeah, guys, it's all about love. Love will prevail. Love will prevail. incredible the support though guys you guys are amazing love all the new subscribers thank you guys so much for all the support it's been incredible to uh, talk to you guys every night jumping on live and even uh, people are reaching out on my email and stuff like that so it's great to connect with uh, like-minded individuals guys So if you guys have any more uh, questions, throw them down there. We'll get them going here. You guys are all amazing. If you guys uh day-to-day -day questions or uh, like I was saying, guys, I'm going to a trucker union, so there's going to be a lot more content coming. Um, I just wanted to jump on to let you guys know that. Um this isn't over, guys. This is just the beginning. We're building something big here, guys. We've got 100 people in the chat now, guys. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, I love you guys all. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys are new here, I'm CD. This is my channel, CD TV. We try and uh, capture all the realest shit. And uh, yeah, this is a freedom community. Love uh, coming on here and talking with all. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing what we're building here, guys. Freedom community. Uh, so what it is, guys. So it's, it's absolutely just simple as it is. We're just a bunch of
loving individuals and we're like-minded individuals and all we want is our freedom of choice, guys. So let me know where you guys are from. I love knowing where you guys are from. I know there's a lot of new people in here. So uh, throw your flags or uh, let me know. There's a lot of people from the States. Uh, we just had a couple people in from Taiwan and Hong Kong. So I love knowing where you guys are from. So uh, definitely let me know where you guys are from. Amazing. Tons from the States. <coughs> Sorry. My chat was completely blocked off. Sorry, guys. Now I got you guys back here. Oh, my God. My chat was all fucked up. Yo, bro, you check out Jason. Calgary, Alberta. Oh, my God. Okay, now they're coming in, guys. Alberta. Amazing, guys. Tons, uh, tons from Canada here. It's amazing. You guys are awesome. Tons from the States, tons from Canada, tons of brothers and sisters that I absolutely love. Wisconsin, let's go. Wisconsin. My buddy, uh, my brother's a Green Bay fan, so he loves Wisconsin. Who would you want to DM? Um, right now, I'm thinking that best thing to do is just we have to get the liberal party out um i think new blue would be the answer i think P pierre paul livre wouldn't be in a bad answer but uh, right now we'd have to do our research right now guys because everyone's going to be pushing their narrative everyone's going to be pushing their agenda uh the conservatives are going to be pushing theirs the liberals are going to be pushing theirs uh the ndp is basically a part of the liberals so um lot lot to look out for guys because it is an election year it definitely is an election year, and this is why all this stuff is popping off at once. And uh, make sure he's not WEF. He just had an interview today, actually, and someone asked him the question, and he's never been a part of it. He says he's never been to Davos, which is actually a hilarious answer. But, yeah, he's... Uh, he's... So, Pontiva says, I don't trust Pierre. Do we know if Pierre will, yeah, he's, he's, what's the objective for tomorrow? It's just a get together tomorrow. These questions are coming in very fast now, but. Not true. Uh, I'm pretty sure Pierre is not part of the WF, but because he had an interview today and someone asked him and he said, he's never been to Davos and he's not part of the WEF. you guys are amazing all the support all the questions i'm trying to get to them here love pierre very kind-hearted and not afraid of trudeau no katos where are you from no katos Yeah, so he probably is. I also love Pierre. So there's a lot of people in here that love Pierre. There's a few that don't, but hey, guys, that's freedom of choice. That's uh, what we're all about. Ontario. Okay, no ketosis from Ontario. He's not WEF. He's not. Yeah, I know. That's, he, he made that pretty clear today in the interview that he had, that he's not WEF. Pontivas from Hamilton, Ontario. Um, I don't want to say too much, but we will be kind of in that area tomorrow. Yeah. I think Pierre, I think Pierre might be the best choice. Guys, it's politics, so it's very hard. They're uh, they're all going to push their own narratives, but I don't know. I think I think Pierre is new blue, like new conservative. We'll see if they can kind of get that going. So
Freedom from all the tyrants. That's a big truck, yeah. That is a big truck, yeah. There is still protests going on every week, guys. The Epic Outlet, there's still protests going on every week. If you're from Canada, go on social media. It's all over. You can figure out uh, where the nearest protest is going on. There's protests going on every Saturday, um, definitely in somewhere near you guys. They're going on all over the country. What do you think of the new Blue Party? Well, I think her name is Kaliakios, um, I believe. And uh, I think that might be our uh, best bet, guys. Maxim, Bernie, or Pierre for PM? Yeah, so I think Pierre is our best bet. Yes, he is going to be a candidate. But I think Pierre, nope to Pierre. L. Stewart says nope to Pierre. Oh, that, yeah, I'd, hey, we're taking, this is freedom community. We're, there's going to be both sides here, guys. We're going to listen to both sides. This is a Westerner speaking. Okay, Les, L. Stewart, we're definitely listening to you. We're, I listen to everyone. So I'll definitely, uh, but uh, L. Stewart, yes. Um, you're more than welcome to say your piece here. Maxim Bernier, she says, or Candace Bergen. I like Candace. I do like Candace. Need truck driver for office. <laughs> I'm not a truck driver. By 2025, voting will be a shine, unfortunately. I'm not sure about that, but we'll see. So a lot of people are agreeing that Candace is a good, uh, Candace Bergen, Bergen. I, I don't know if it's Bergen or Bergen, but Bergen, I'd say. So parents in the U.S. made claims on surety bonds of these heads of school boards. Yes, I also heard that too. Well, Stuart. You guys are amazing. I heard Pierre might be part of WF. I don't think he is because, like I said, guys, I heard an interview today where someone asked him straight up, and he said he wasn't. But we'll see. We will see. I'm not uh, – I'm not – I never studied political science. Um, this is just me talking, guys. This is just a community of people just having a chat. I know as much as I am. Um, I do know a lot, but I don't know everything. Just want to tell you guys that that this is uh, this is just me to you. I'm, I've never studied political science or anything like that. Yes, Russia and Ukraine leaders are WF. So is Trudeau. Trudeau is part of the WF. So, so is Canada's leader. Trudeau is a, is a fact. He is part of the WF, World Economic Forum. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> You're reporting the stream for racism. Well, I don't think they're going to, uh, I don't think they're going to find it. I'm very, uh, I'm very wise with my words. I don't say anything that I shouldn't. So I think we're good guys. Donut Dan's in here. He's my moderator. So he knows what's up. What do you think Donut Dan?
Putin did not attend Davos. I'm not sure. Or Davos. You mean Davos, which is in Switzerland. Um, are you sure about that? I'm not too sure if Putin did not attend in Davos. Yeah. I right, get stuff exactly. Hash info. Do you know Jamie? I'm not sure exactly. Just peace and love, brother. Exactly. Just peace and love. I don't even know how I can pin that. Oh, oh sorry guys. Sorry to check something there. We're good now. Everyone back? All right, we're good. They're back. Sorry about that. Are us unvax ever going to be able to fly again? Yes, very soon, man. We're fighting for the rights. We're fighting for it. We are fighting for it. That's exactly what we're fighting for, brother. Pure Paul uses a world like normal form poster. Check out tweet from Theo Fairly. Oh, I will, G. Well, I'll check it out. I, I, like I said, guys, you can say whatever you want in here, and I'm definitely going to uh, take it as it is. But there's definitely enough of great people in here that I've connected with. So I decided if I go to the U.S., I will drive. We'll take a ship. Then <laughs> I'll steward. I love it. She's she's going to uh, revert to old transportation she's going to take her car and get it shipped over to the uk that's amazing is putin to blame for this inflation no he's not <laughs> it's actually biden that uh, i believe is uh, the true person that's the problem here for that inflation increase because um i don't want to get too political but in trump's regime the uh, barrels or the dollar per barrel was around $30 and now you can see what oil goes for it's absolutely insanity so um, I think that's Joe's fault Putin's fault uh, what is better Getter is just another site where you can stream off, and uh, it's kind of like the new YouTube. Rumble is also another one. Um, Getter is another. Get, Getter is just like yeah, like uh, Al Stewart said, is a new alternative media. It's kind of just it's just starting to uh, pop off, but uh, less censorship, a lot less censorship. Because uh, YouTube does have a pretty high. Uh, censorship rumble is also another one yes uh, wallflower uh, rumble is another alternative media source that you can use <laughs> Can we get some WWF to fight the WEF? That's one of the best comments I've seen in the longest time. I wonder if I can. Oh, that's so funny. I don't know why I can't pin them, but that is so funny. Can we get some WWF to fight someone on the WEF? That Oh, my God. That is, surname, that is the best. Oh, you're a legend for that. <laughs> That made that made my day. That made my day. Hulk Hogan, we need you absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Andre Moray. That's why, uh, guys, you have to stay diligent here, guys. Um, they are lit. They lifting the provincial mandates in Canada, but they are definitely trying to implement a federal mandate. So as we can't put our guard down, we have to stay strong, guys. Uh, anyone that's part of this movement, 
Don't even think that we're really getting any ground right now because they're going to take it all away again as soon as we fucking let our guard down. If you have the vaccine, I don't know why you should be afraid of me. I'm not, I don't have the vaccine. <laughs> I'm proudly unvaxxed. If you have the vaccine, that's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. That's your choice, but I'm proudly unvaxxed. Yeah. Like givers of pure blood. Love to see that. Yep, exactly. No fear, Andre Moray. Keep your mask off, throw your mask off, delete your Vax Pass. Those things are out the window. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that are trying to fight to keep the masks in, which is absolutely insane, guys. That's uh, just brainwashed community. That happens over time. That's exactly what they wanted. They're creating division. And uh, I'm creating unity in something like this community. We're oh, excuse me. Uh, we're building. So I love you guys all. Morning, Carol B. Carol B, I love you. Morning. But uh, I love you guys. Yeah, they're trying to, like, the people that are trying to continue this whole muzzling your face and muzzling your children, the whole reason that I was down on the front line was not for myself, guys. It was for the future generation of kids. It was the kids that, for the last two years, Imagine being two years old when this all started and now you're four years old and you've never had interactions with children or any communication or public interaction, you know, it's insanity. I grew up a Canadian kid. Uh, it was amazing. My parents, like, I was fortunate the way I grew up, but I can't believe that people want to mask their kids and it's just, it's a disgrace. Um, it's amazing when you go into the stores and you see a smile on a family's face and none, no one's wearing a mask and uh, you just have a quick conversation with them and you go, you know, thank you for what you're doing. And it's amazing. So get rid of the mask, guys. Throw the mask out. I'm going to jump off here just for a quick sec. You guys can chat with each other.
Thank you guys all for tuning in. I absolutely love you guys all. You guys are amazing. So do you think the government will be held accountable? Fuck no. Why would they? Why would they ever be held accountable? They never have been before. They're uh, they're very good around... Uh... Sorry, there's so many coming. But yeah, no, I don't think they're going to be accountable. Truck, yeah, DCAT, that's a big truck, yeah. They will not be accountable, held accountable though. It's kind of a joke. But, uh, yeah, just how it is. It's a very corrupt world we live in, guys. It's a very corrupt world. in, And uh, the sooner that you uh, realize that, the better, because then you can uh, start shaping your mind and realizing that everything that you've been fed over the last however old you are is a complete bullshit. So... The sooner that you realize that the mainstream media is... Fucking nothing but nonsense, uh, the better. Ralph Pike, absolutely. The vote of no confidence for the liberal government has to be true. That's exactly what has to be done. We the people. We the people. To everyone. Big truck, yeah, for me. Love you guys. Love all the new subscribers. Freedom community that we're building here. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, Carl, where is the party? I can't tell you. I can't tell anyone where the party at is, guys. This is a private party. It's invite only. But, uh, yeah, I can't. I can't tell you exactly where the party's at. Some people will never do. do. Yeah, we're going to a farm in an undisclosed location. It's going to be a good time. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a little shindig, a little barn party. For all the truckers, a little trucker union, it's going to be amazing. But, no, I can't tell you guys where the party's at. Nope, I cannot. But there's going to be a lot of people there, guys. So... It's going to be a good time. Yeah, guys, it's just, we're just trying to keep, keep it DL. We're, we don't want like exactly a lot of people just said a lot of trolls showing up and stuff like that. It's just going to be a good wholesome time, but uh, it's going to be a good time. It's in the Toronto area. I don't know who Brian is, but it's not Brian's party. Exactly. I won't. It just, it's on a farm. It's on a farm.
Is it just a sucker, uh, trucker celebration thing? Yeah, it's just a it's just a reunion for everyone that was on the front lines in uh, Ottawa, guys, over the last month. So, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a good little place that we can all uh, reconnect. And uh, I'll be taking off very early tomorrow morning, heading there. Um, so it's gonna be amazing, guys. It's um, stay tuned because I'm gonna be bringing my camera. We're gonna be uh, filming a bunch of videos there. So it's amazing. We. Uh, Yep, so I'm going to bring, bring, bring in my cameras. We're leaving very early in the morning. And uh, I just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys what's going on. Uh, that I love you guys all. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And uh, you guys are amazing. But I wanted to jump on here for about a half hour. It's about 40 minutes in. I absolutely love you guys. You guys are the absolute best. We're building a community here. We're going to try and do a little live tomorrow when I'm at the party. So stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, we are heading to an undisclosed farm in Toronto area tomorrow. I uh, I will definitely jump on live and uh, tell you guys all about it. There's going to be a lot of videos coming on. And you guys are amazing. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys later. Cheers.